Hello, my name is Gooey, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today is part 2 of how to build the perfect zoo. So, um, last time in this, we built this nice little enclosure here. As you can see, I've now named the panda pandas. This one's called Teddy, and this one's called Flippy. They're just random names, I know, but um, yeah. We also built this um, pretty cool, what's it called, gate. I keep on getting them mixed up. Like, if you saw the last video, I kept on getting... Um, fences and gates mixed up and we also have um, oh yeah so last time I only showed you how to build one enclosure because you can just repeat the cycle for every enclosure you do so I just copied it round so the only thing left to do is this and we also have some final touches to show you and then after that I, we can hopefully do the tour so um, yeah the full tour so yeah anyway let's just get straight into it I guess so the first thing you're gonna have to do this is a reptile house by the way is you need to measure a you need to measure a 13 by 13 area so yeah just do that and then choose any corner it can be any corner you like go off one two three four blocks and then you might have heard my dog bark then <laughs> sorry about that um, then you go one two three four you leave a four block gap here and then one two three four and then just do it normally. And you also need to do it on the other side here. So there should be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 5 little corner in the side here. And then the rest of it is just... So it's like two sides here. And then you're going to build your path. Which I showed you how to build last time. Just using path blocks. Um, you're going to go through here like that. And make sure it doesn't touch. Like like imagine there's an ima imaginary square here. Make sure it doesn't touch that. Because that's for next... That's for in a minute. So anyway, what you're gonna do is you're going to get strip spruce log out. So it would be on logs, and here we go. And you're gonna build a square on this little corner bit here. Make sure they're facing upwards. But um, on the corner here, we're actually gonna get stone bricks. So get those stone bricks out. Like that, go three blocks up and um, just do it with the stone bricks, not these yet. As you know, four, no, two blocks, sorry. And um, wait, uh, no, it's not, sorry, no. Yeah, just just two blocks up. And then, then repeat the cycle for here and make sure you don't touch the path. So then it just goes like this, like that, to the side. And then we can finish off our um, reptile house. So it's just going to be quite a cool one because it, I keep forgetting the corners are stone bricks. So make sure you don't forget about that like I did. Like that. And then we we'll also need to place it in the corner here. Like this. And then just um, finish it up. Like that. And what you're going to do now is you're going to build... The stone blocks up two block two blocks not block um like that so now we have a this is the base of our reptile house so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this area here and next to where this um stone pillar is on this corner here as you can see where it can be it's gonna be on both sides so it doesn't really matter you're gonna put six blocks like that and then you're gonna go one two three blocks do that and then do it like this like that um do it up to the top like this like that so there we go and then you're also gonna do it on the other side so go one two three four and then go like that go like that and make sure to keep the bottom like the front bits like that because we're going to put the glass here and then there's going to be lots of different reptiles behind it but there aren't many reptiles in minecraft so we're going to do more like the more mysterious creatures of minecraft the reason i made this is so you could put like you know the more mysterious creatures in like alleys like creepers maybe not creepers they're a bit big but you can make a bigger box for them so um yeah just repeat the cycle down here and then I'll show you what you need to do for the corner bit in a minute so like that oh no that's too short like so it should be like that like this nope 
Um, so there we go. And then, yeah, sorry, I'm right. I'm right, you might have heard my dog bark again there, but um, hopefully you didn't. Um, so then we're just, yeah, it's going to be something like this. Make sure they're all facing upwards, like that. And there we go. And then we also need to block off this area here. So make sure people don't see that it's just an empty space. So there we go. And then also for the corner bit, you're going to go up two blocks on each corner here. If you know what I mean. Because it's, you know, it's a square. And then, actually wait, yeah, that is it. But then these two, um, they need to place six blocks here, six blocks here. So on the inside, it would be like this and you can see through here like that. And then on top, we're going to place um, stone brick stairs, if I can find it. Here we go. Just place it on the top block here. Curve it around, making a corner stair like that. Make sure it goes over the top like that. And there we go. Like this. No. Nope. Okay, yep. There we go. And then in the middle, you're going to place um, spruce planks like this. Like that. Like this. Like that. Like that. And there we go. Yeah, if you haven't seen the first part, then definitely check it out because. It doesn't really. This video doesn't really make sense without the first part. So um, yeah, make sure to watch that because you know you don't really want to only know how to build the reptile house when you haven't got the rest of it. So yeah. Uh, let me just finish this off, and there we go. So that is the reptile house almost complete. So what you're gonna do is to add some more light. Is you're gonna go like this. So basically, what you're going to do is two blocks in the middle of the path, if you know what I mean, are just going to be like, so as you can see, it's, uh, it's really hard to explain this pattern. So if I look from above, you see the path goes down there, and it's actually four blocks wide, but we're going to actually do two blocks, wide, two blocks wide in the middle, if you know what I mean. So yeah, and then we're going to fill it in with glowstone. So let me find glowstone, and there we go. You can also do redstone lamps with a um, redstone, what's it called, daylight sensor thingy. Um, but the only problem with that is it won't glow in day, and um, you kind of want it to be glowing all times. So yeah, I'm also going to fill this in if I can find the grass. Uh, where is it? Uh, here we go. There we go, and just fill it in, make sure it's not visible. It's quite hard. Look. And um, is it visible on any of the other sides? Let me have a look. It's visible here, so let's just yeah, just make sure to look it up. I mean you wouldn't be using it, so, um you wouldn't be using this thing with the um what's it called? Like outlines. So, you know, you don't need to like make sure you can't see it. But um if you are using outlines, which I don't really see a point to um, yeah, make sure to get rid of them afterwards. So we're going to have all these different types of creatures in here. But first, I'm going to block it up with some glass panes. Like that. Like this. Like that. And yeah. So after we've built this, I'm also going to show you some extra decorations that you can do. To make sure your zoo is extra special. And then we'll give you a full tour at the end. So yeah. Uh, there we go, and there we go. Okay, that's it. Um, I'm just gonna break into here, and then we're gonna add some reptiles, or in other words, just some creatures. I don't know really what, but just some creatures. So this first one's gonna be a frog, um, a frog's place. I just decided that like straight away, like straight away now, but um, yeah. Uh, if I can find the water, that is. There we go. Um, so, I'm just going to... Actually, wait a sec. I might as well do this to make sure they don't despawn. So, you get an anvil. Get it out. Get a name tag, if I can find it. Uh, where is it? Actually, where, where, where is it, actually, though? Um, hmm. I know it's in this section. 
I'm probably people are probably seeing that in this video, but they just and then they're shouting at the screen, but I can't see it. Uh oh, this is actually uh where is it? okay right? Oh, it's is it on this section. Okay, I'll just search it. Search it up. Name tag. Okay. Name. Okay, if I just do that, then it'll probably come up. Yep. Okay. Um. So let me do that. Oh, I shouldn't have really got rid of the anvil. Um. I didn't realise I hadn't placed it down yet. So just do that, and then yeah. Sorry, this is taking a while. Um. Just place it down. Click on it. Put your name tag in, and I'll just put a random name like Bob. So that means like every every creature's in here is just gonna be called Bob. So um yeah. Uh, Bob. Alright, here we go. B O B. Right. There we go. Um, get it out. There we go. And so now we have our place for our frogs. So let's spawn him in. Uh, where are the frogs? No, wait, what's happened? Oh, yep. so the frogs should be here. Uh, frog. Here we go. So then we can just spawn lots of different creatures in. No, don't escape, don't escape, don't escape. Yay. Now they're inside. We have our frogs. Oh, wait a sec. We need to name them. Frog and frog. No, Bob, I mean. And then we also need to have lots of different other creatures. And just to save time and um, make this video a little bit more um, enjoyable and less... Um, Time consuming, I'm just gonna place grass in the rest of these and then just spawn anything I can. And there we go. Like this. Like that. And yeah, just do it for all the boxes. And this one's extra big by the way, so yeah. You can put something a bit more like a bit more of a bigger creature in here if you want. So there we go. And there we go. So um what should we do now? I'm just gonna look for random creatures and then we can name them Bob. Um we could do a cat nah. Yeah, we could do it's a lot. Um It's also by the way, this could be a um like fish tank thing if you wanted it to be. But I'm just gonna make it into a actually no, I can't be a tab up. Ale yes, I'll do that. Um Silverfish? Nope, where was the silverfish? I saw a silverfish, I thought. Nope, I didn't. Um, yeah, make sure not to do any creatures like a vex, because they can just, you know, run away. So, okay, let's just place the ones we've got, and then we'll do a bit more. So, got our Ale. Oh, no, I didn't think that would... Oh, no. Right, okay, bye, I guess. Um, just put an ocelot in here. And then, oh, it's a baby one. No, oh, well, okay, I guess that can just be your new home then. Um, uh, we need to just find lots of different ones. I'll just get random ones to be quicker for you guys. So, maybe not. Let's just do donkey, horse, bubblefish. Well, there's not really slime, I guess. Gooey, yeah. No, I can't spawn on apparently. Okay, let's just do a B. Name him. This is really annoying, you see. Okay, yeah, you go into that one then. They keep on changing there where they want to go. Obviously, this cell isn't very popular. Well, I shouldn't say cell because it's definitely a five star luxury hotel. Um, yeah. Right, so, and then the final one. Is it the final one? Yep, yeah, it is. We can put a... Maybe a slime will fit in this one. No, okay. Um, yeah, so I'm spending way too much time on this. So we can do a... Uh, silverfish. That, I guess that would be good. And yeah, by the way... Oh no, I can't spot it. It's probably because it's in peaceful. It's changing my settings. Yeah, so I'm, take, I'm spending way too long on this. But um, it's all for the um, benefit. Let's just turn it to easy. And we can put a few silver fish here. There we go. Oh, I've got to name them. They're both called Bob now, so yeah. And yeah, we can also 
I'm not going to do this now because it will take even more time. You can also put signs here saying like frog, saying chicken, ocelot, um, bee, and then silverfish, and then silverfish here. So that is it done. But now we've got some finishing touches, and then we can, then we can give you the full, and then I can give you the full tour. So the first one is a. I'm saying I'm saying it like it's just the start of a video again. The first one is, but it's just I've actually already spent like 15 minutes recording, so yeah. Um. Anyway, so we can have like a signpost, and it will say. So the reptile house is this way so i'm gonna do a sign pointing that direction saying reptile house i can find a sign uh it's definitely in this section i know that yep here we go found it um there we go nope that's not what i meant to do so if we do it on top we do reptile house rep tile rep Reptile. Reptile. Yep, here we go. Reptile space. House. House. There we go. There we go. And like that. Reptile house. And then we can do um, bird house going the other direction. Bird. They're both houses. I don't know why they're both called houses, but um, apparently that's what the English language calls it. So, yeah, just go with it. Um, so the bird house is that way because it's pointing that way. So we see like, oh, where if you get lost, I mean, it's only a really small area, but reptile house is this way. So we're like, oh, OK, let's go this way, see all the animals come out. And then and then you can look at that sign and also find where the bird house is. We also have benches, so let's get out. So what you need is a slab, um, actually three oak slabs like this. You need trapdoors, and you also need signs. If I can find a sign, uh, oh, it's literally right in my inventory already. Um, so we're gonna go like that. On the back, you're gonna do three trapdoors, and then on the side, you're gonna do. Um, then on the side you're going to do what they called signs. Ali's probably gonna follow me around for the rest of eternity now. Um yeah anyway, just decorate them all around the park, but because I'm lazy, I just did it in one place. So yeah. Now it's time for the final reveal of the zoo. Okay. Right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna enter the park. So this is what you do is you just open the gate like that but yeah and we have a nice path made out of just the path block so um yeah so anyway let's look at our first um enclosure this one is a wolf enclosure we can see the little doggos down there and then this isn't an alley enclosure get out of here get out get out get out i told you to get out okay yeah anyway um so you have the dogs here and then we can go this way to the panda enclosure where are all the pandas gone oh they're over here hello pandas hope you're having a nice day teddy hello teddy um and then where's the brown panda gone oh no uh, has he died oh no he's right behind there okay anyway um then we're gonna go to the reptile house so we have a bee have some ocelot we have some silverfish a chicken and f and some frogs and they're all Kate and they're all named Bob and yeah we also have the signpost um, telling us where to go so we can go to the birdhouse let's go to the birdhouse next since I built this in the last episode make sure not to bring in cookies because cookies are definitely not allowed so um, yeah because they're poisonous to parrots um, so here we go here's the birdhouse we've got like a nice jungle themed one and this build this really cool build hack of the bird bath so yeah let's um let's um get out of here because got a nice airlock thing because you know you need to keep the air in there nice and tropical for the parrots to live in and then finally we also have two enclosures right here which are the fox enclosure 
and the mushrooming closure and they just say I'm a mushroom cow but yeah you know and then we also have um the foxes who are called foxo I think I believe oh no foxy never mind okay yeah anyway that's the whole tour so hope you enjoyed this video I'm definitely I'm definitely planning to do more videos like this one and the theme park video I mean that vid theme park video is that you're on one part but um yeah anyway I hope you enjoyed um, I hope not, I hope this video hasn't gone on to, for too long, but, um, I don't think it has. Oh, yeah, it's been 20 minutes, um, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!